Welcome back to Mono Man Sky, and it's time for us to directly upgrade our freighter. As you can see, uh, <laughs> over the past few episodes, we haven't done anything with the bases yet, so I haven't used any of the salvage data, um, and our inventory is starting to look a little bit manic, so it's going to be a good idea for us to get the freighter upgraded. This is going to help us with inventory management greatly, and I can start getting rid of some stuff that we just don't need anymore. So, the first things first, you want to come to this kind of black diamond-shaped panel right here. I guess you call it diamond, maybe, I don't know what, a, what other shape you'd kind of call that. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to max out on our uh, storage here. So get all of your bulkheads out of the way, let's get this completed. And then your freighter too should have storage looking like this. Okay, so we've got all the storage containers in here from the previous episode. We've got our cargo, which is massive. Um, this will be accessible from the planet by the end of this video. Um, and we have the main tab here. We've got tons of things that we need to be ex need to be installing. Uh, this is going to be an example. I'm not sure what the perfect loadout for you might be, but I'm going to show you what the loadout for me looks like. So we got lots to do here, many things to place in. Um, I'm going to keep one of each of these, so if anybody wants uh, me to kind of give them like a starting kit during a No Man's Sky specific stream, don't come to God of War expecting No Man's Sky stuff, that's not going to happen. Um, so that, yeah, uh, I can make copies of these and we can give them to people if they if they are struggling too much. Although they shouldn't be after the videos we already have in the series. Either way, time for us to start getting some upgrades in here. And before we start placing modules down, uh, we want to make sure that we have all of the upgrades. So it's time for us to spend all of our frigate upgrades. We're going to go ahead and get everything here. We should have way more than enough. Now the stuff that is probably less important to us right now is all of the different uh, types of engines and we're actually not going to install all of these just yet because we have yet to actually go to the blue, green and... Blue, green and... I think there's a third colour. There's, there's different colour stars we haven't been to yet. We haven't been to red, green and blue. There we go. Blue, Red, green, blue. Ah, as it might be. Uh, so we'll leave those off for now. We'll install those as we go to those different types of systems because you need to go there with your ship first and then come back with the relevant materials such as cadmium to bring it back to install on the freighter. There are other ways to get these materials. I'll try and get that done efficiently as a video. I'm pretty sure there are certain mods we can guarantee ourselves these materials from. So I can find an easy way, we'll do that. And we're also going to need warp cores as well. All of this we need to get the research from um, the anomaly from. But for now, we're going to get all of this basic stuff done because it's going to be cool. So first things first, I like to come over to the technologies tab. We want the hyperdrive here to be surrounded by hyperdrive mods. Now the reason I like to have it here is because it's going to take up loads of space and eventually we are in fact going to want to put the extra hyperdrive stuff near the hyperdrive. It feels like um, the percentage increase you get is based on the amount that it gives so having these high level um, hyperdrive upgrades next to the actual hyperdrive along with the uh, golden mods is what gets you the, the biggest bang for your buck so first things first we want to be putting three of them in the technology tab like so and because we are now going to have so much storage we can actually um, double up with this now on the main tab and I like to take up the bottom two rows with additional mods so we are going to go ahead and do that yeah and as you can see the freighter here ends up with an obscene hyperdrive range so when it comes to upgrading the ship and this is why I really haven't put many upgrades on my ship um, we just really are not going to need to have a terrible amount of hyperdrive range on the ship so if you end up needing extra space, like taking off this extra 100 here is not going to not going to hurt you all that badly. Next up then, um, and that's kind of one of the coolest ones. Obviously, we've now got incredible range on the freighter. The next two most important ones, in my opinion, that's why we're going to double up on them, is the, uh, the fleet fuel unit and the salvage fleet beacon. Uh, the beacon is going to make it so that our frigates are faster and the fuel unit is going to make it so that they take less fuel. So they'll be cheaper to run and they'll get rewards faster. Frigates are going to get their own video later on, so if you don't want to install them right now because you don't know how useful they're going to be, that is entirely up to you. Uh, you can do this exactly however you like, that's not a problem. Um, but just for my preference, this is exactly how we're going to have this. So these are going to be also ones that we double up on here. 
Oops. Let's get this done. And so my mods end up looking something like this for now. So we have beacons and the fuel. And as you can see, they get adjacency bonus from each other, which is rather nice. Like if I pull these out here just to show you uh, that this one does in fact give its adjacency bonus to the other. So we can have all of these extra next to each other nice like this. Um, and we can have these ones down here like this. And then we'll have one of the uh, the extra um, hyperdrive mods come out here to, uh, to complete this square for it, which is rather nice. So that leaves us with the rest of the upgrades. So you have some choices here, but before we start putting these in, we want to get some of the technology installed that we just bought onto the ship. So first up, we're going to go ahead and grab this antimatter beam. I'm going to need some antimatter for this. Let's get some of that made. And for now, it's going to go in the bottom left corner. I like to only install things um, when they are available to be built. This is why we're not doing these right now, because it gets kind of annoying when you can't move them around, when you want to kind of get adjacency bonuses and stuff. So we're just going to leave these. Look, all of these are going to get left because we don't have the special materials. We are going to want the interstellar scanner, though. So we'll get that built. It's going to be there now. And you may end up moving these around just based on wherever they go, because these don't really get an adjacency bonus, so they can kind of go wherever they want. Oh look, we are all good. Now we know for a fact one, two, three, four, five, six spaces are going to be taken up by these, and five of them are going to be here. So that's probably going to be one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we can put these wherever we want. We'll put these here for now. So this is all going to be hyperdrive, and we know that... Um, when we come into here, this one is going to be the last the sixth hyperdrive. So that leaves us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten spare spaces, which you can divide as you please, um, in my opinion anyway, across these um, fleet units. So we're going to go one, two. So just as a visual aid, when it comes to these specific fleet unit upgrades, there are four. So we can have two of each. And then you can um, double up on or get an extra one of whichever one you like. So I may well just do... I'm going to get myself an extra combat one. And I'll get myself an extra trade one, because why not? Which, for the purposes of this video, has us look something like this. Okay, so we've got all of our kind of cool tech stuff here. We've got the essentials in just here. You could move these around if you wanted. The, this is what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven across. So if you wanted to like really maximize this, you could go for one of each of the seven mod types across here um, and then bring all of this tech into your main inventory and take all the space up. But I just don't like doing it that way. I feel like this is a nice middle of the roadway. We're going to get all the stat bonuses that we need. Um, and we'll get far enough uh, hyperdrive range once we get all of these upgrades on here. Uh, you'll actually see, when you get all of this done, you'll actually see uh, this reach up towards like the 5,000 um, unit range, which is just obscene. Uh, just to kind of show what that even looks like. Um, 3,000 right now is already like... Well, like, I, I don't understand why you would need to go this far, is basically how I feel about it. All right, so if I look, 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 look up here, we're on like 300 here, right? We're going, we're going, we're going. Still going. This probably isn't even yet. There's halfway. So, you know, you got a good, like, 20 seconds of travel for... Like, I, I don't I don't know how you would spot a spa, spot a, a star system that you even need to go to that far. So it's just really good. Um, now that we've got everything installed, we can see all of the conflict and the economies and stuff around us. So it's just going to make getting around really easy. That's pretty much it. That's all of the freight stuff done. Um, I won't do specific videos on the engine types. I'll just do how to get the cadmium, indium, and emeril. And then, basically, if you guys follow those videos, you'll have the materials that you need to install. The only thing we don't have right now is the big frigate fuels and the, uh, the big warp cell, I think, as far as recipes go. Those will be gotten from the anomaly. And again, I'll give those specific videos just so that we can, we can get them all done. Either way, I hope that helps you out. Hopefully it gives you an idea as to what you can have for the tech layout on your freighter. We can now remotely access the storage on the freighter. And we have a absolute ungodly amount of inventory space. So if you're in my position where you've kind of just been following the videos along, trying to get unlock everything, um, it should be a little bit more relieving. See you all again soon.